It's day 10 of the Chicago teacher strike and today teachers are rallying at Union Park while student runners are showing up to a regional meet at Lincoln Park even though they can't participate. CBS 2's V. Wynn is joining us now from Lincoln Park where students say they want people to know they're not forfeiting. Suzanne, good morning. That's right. The cross country team from Jones College Prep will be on Cannon Drive this morning around 9, despite a ruling by a judge yesterday saying they can't compete during the strike. So this morning, today, they plan to do their own run after the meet. Meanwhile, CTU and CPS still have not been able to agree on key issues like class sizes and staffing. There's pressure. There's, um, you know, the, our, the students, parents, our members are all counting on us to deliver something better for the schools. Um, people want the schools to reopen. Uh, you, you know, let's not play around. That's serious work. Last night we heard from the CTU president. He says there are no critical breakthroughs. Things are sensitive right now and they are working hard to reach a fair contract. For the past week we have seen teachers marching through the loop to send a message to Mayor Lori Lightfoot. They held a rally yesterday at Buckingham Fountain, but at some point tried to get on Lakeshore Drive where they were stopped by police as for negotiations. CPS officials say they remain diligent and committed. We provided some counters on some of the other smaller items to try to put those to rest. Um, and now we're really focused on how we get to a place where there's some compromise on some of those big key issues that requires a little give and take. Now, both sides will continue to negotiate at Malcolm X College and plan to be there all day. At this hour, we still don't know if classes will be canceled Monday. Reporting live from Lincoln Park, V. Wynn, CBS 2 News.